Ike, if you're watching this, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna deny, deny, deny. Is, is the pin pulled? Don't try this at home. Yeah, please don't. We're, we're idiots. We're professional idiots. <laughs> this is the biggest train wreck in Cars and Cameras history. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, it's so bad! What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we're gonna be finishing up and going for a proper test drive on our Jacobson two-stroke powered vintage mini bike. However, we are faced with a huge challenge between now and taking it for a ride. And that is that our gearing is completely wrong. We can't put a much larger sprocket on the rear because A, we don't have one, and B, uh, it's gonna start hitting the frame because the frame does this. So it looks like a jack shaft is our best option. The downside there is that we have very little room to get it done. So if we can pull that off, get it geared much better so this two horsepower can really go to town around the Grand Prix. Uh, there are a couple other things we might wanna do to it. Uh, we need to fix the sprocket hub and we need to fix the logo up front. But the big challenge again is gonna get the gearing right. Mini jack shaft for a mini bike. So a couple hours later and we should have everything we need for a jack shaft minus our brackets. We went to Tractor Supply, uh, but we could get this done cleaner and cheaper from uh, going to gopowersports.com. This is like over a hundred bucks worth of stuff. Here's our jack shaft. We're keeping it cars and cameras. It's 5 8 bolt. We're gonna need to cut a keyway into it. We're gonna have our bearing, 5 8 and we were able to get some, uh, some hangers as well. We're gonna have our, let's see, our sprocket, uh, some spacers, another sprocket from the engine, which is gonna do our reducing, and then another bearing and some lockdown. So this is basically what we have. It needs to get installed right in. Here somewhere. Yeah, that is tight. Oh, that is tight. That yeah, is tight. There's, a, there's a carburetor in there. Oh gosh. Oops, there's a carburetor in there. Anyway, so basically like, that is how we're gonna need to get this done. Spin this wheel around, and uh, yeah, building a bracket off of our engine mount is gonna be interesting too. What was really interesting was me trying to walk backwards and my foot was caught in that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> space there's no space, <laughs> no space. <laughs> there's really not much space so the jack shaft is mocked up and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna mount it and also give us chain adjustability so it's really tight in there but uh, it should be fine so the idea is to cut basically a second engine plate that will be sandwiched in between the factory the frame here and the actual engine plate and it'll run under here with slotted holes and be attached to our bearing hangers so that way we can move the jack shaft independently from the engine, which will tension one of the chains while loosening the other. So we're gonna try to use just one chain tensioner for both chains. If that doesn't work, we're almost gonna have to uh, hog these out a little bit and, uh, and to give us some chain tension in the back, which we don't wanna do. Yeah. Ike, if you're watching this, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna deny, deny, deny. Uh, but that's what we got. Plausible deniability, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna get programming, and um, we've got a leaky carburetor, which is not great if we need to do some welding. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some programming, and we can get this part moving. But so far, I like what I see. It's The packaging is very nice, very pleasing. It's tight. Tight like a tiger. Like a tiger, indeed. <laughs> Our brackets are cut out, our assembly is mocked up, it just needs to get squared up the last 10% or so and then we can tack it in. But man, it is tight in there, but it looks awesome. It, it's gonna work out. Yeah, it, it's gonna be tricky to tighten the hardware, but um, I, I think it's really sweet. It, it looks really sleek and clean. Uh, well, the, the main goal was to not modify this original frame. Yep. Because I mean, what we're putting on here, we can, we can make plenty of them. We can't get another one of these. I mean, maybe, but. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. This 
is going to be fun. Remember this? Oh, I remember this. Unfortunately, we made a boo-boo. We did not give ourselves enough room for the throttle linkage right here because the bearing originally was on the back side. You couldn't hit the throttle. It was jammed up. We moved it to this side. We no longer have sprocket alignment. We were too focused on getting those two sprockets to line up. We were not paying attention to the throttle linkage uh, spacing. So what we are gonna have to do is we're gonna have to notch the top engine plate, move the engine to the left side of the bike, put that, put the left side bearing of the jack shaft on the outside of the bracket so the carburetor and linkage have room to move over. I mean, and also the whole engine, of course. Uh, but that's my project today. I have to remove said engine again, but no big deal. And then we will notch it and get it moved over. So, oops, but we can fix it. We have the technology. I think we're in the clear. Well, this okay, I'm not gonna say it yet. Actually an update. Yeah, a real update. It's only been like two days. So this one is pretty much lining up. We can get it to line up. This one is I can get this. too dark, but oh, nice. it's decent. We yeah. can eyeball it. Uh, I can actually get, I think I can get a master link on this one right now. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. send it, brother. I'll go feel pretty stupid. <laughs> if the gearing is if still worse, bad. If, or if it's <laughs> the same. <laughs> So we are right there. Did you put a little cap over this carburetor, the fuel inlet? Yes, it did. Oh, nifty. We were welding. Yeah, nifty, near. nifty. I got a pliers. Good. I know you did. Hooking up our fuel line, and Charles is just getting the master link on, and we are going to be good for a test drive. Uh, we're going to take this thing down, uh, strap on a helmet, go for a test drive. I think a 30 mile an hour top speed is a good a good thing to shoot for because we yeah. have two horsepower. And then Ike is going to get here and... Uh, he's going to find out in the video uh, all the wonderful things we had to do. You ready? Oh boy. Oh, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm good. Right. Going down. All right, ready? Yep. It didn't go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, it's so bad! <laughs> oh man. Test it again. Buddy, it could just be that gutless. I'm gonna stay out here. <laughs> oh no. It is really quiet. Two horsepower burnout. Woo! I feel like my old Huffy could be better than that. <laughs> Alright, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh no. We might be gearing it down even more. That's horrible. We had to do some fooling around with the throttle cable, but uh, I think we have more than we had before. So I'm gonna get my speed app, 
going and we can see how fast it goes and fire it up. So I'm gonna get a little sound sound off first. Here we go. Where is he? There he is. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, this is great. He's so happy. Oh gosh. It is truly gutless. <laughs> oh no, no suspension. Let's see how fast it goes. the weeds. Ah, the fryer's got me. Ow. Hey man, where'd you get that dirt bike? <laughs> I'm still not quite sure how that switch works. I know, it just revved up when you cut it off. <laughs> yeah. This thing's pretty fun. All right, survey says. Survey says 25.3. You said 30. I'm gonna call 25 a win. Okay. I mean, it still has a little bit of get up, uh, but it's not too terribly fast. I think our gearing is, is probably the sweet spot considering we're making two horsepower. The mile per hour, we made it a meme bike. Yeah. Because you know, it's like, what's better than 24? 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the front end, I wish the front end worked, but it- I've, I've lubed it every time I've walked by it. Yeah. it nope. Nothing. Maybe with more riding it will, but dude, you should hop on it now that it actually has a little bit of horsepower. Yeah. We probably doubled the output with that. Ooh, okay. And I guess the only, I can't put heat on it because the springs are right there. Yeah. So they'll, it'll well, be fine. If no big use deal. It, it might free up. That's what happened to mine. Yeah. All right. I'll hop on it. Feel that? Yeah. It idles beautifully. Are you sure we work on this? <laughs> He might be pleased, man. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, look, let's see. Oh, it did a mark. Okay. He might be into it. Still got knobbies. That's okay. <laughs> that tells you how much power it has. It didn't yeah, it didn't even pull the knobbies off. off. That's okay. Every build we do, we gotta do a burnout. So. The Bird Nighthawk, I'm gonna say, is a success with a gearing change. 25 miles an hour. Now all we need to do is wait for Ike to get here, reveal it to him, and then we can all go for a hot lap around the Grand Prix and see who the best momentum rider is because it sure doesn't have the power. You all right? A bird in the hands worth two in the bush, right? <laughs> but this is one bird in one bush. All right, so Ike is here and he's going to look at our... I hear something coming. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of turn around. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be able to look at our uh, uh, craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Did you see? What? Telegram from Mongo. Was it craftsmanship you said? <clears throat> I mean, it sounded like there was a chain turning on. Oh, it. yeah, there's a chain. It runs. We already yeah, wrote it, dude. You wrote it? Yeah, yeah, it works. Can I turn around? Mm hmm. I'm afraid to. <laughs> no, just don't look too close. Okay, this side doesn't look too bad. Did 
there's how many tooth change did you have? I don't remember. Like four. Four or five. Did it make a difference? Oh yeah. Yeah, it really? definitely did. Okay. Yeah. It just it, it doesn't look like it. It has decent bottom end. Uh-huh. Um but we're looking at like 25, 26 top end. Oh, really? And it's two horsepower, man. I mean, any, oh, yeah. any yeah. taller in the thing would just not even be able to move. All right. I like the uh, the little uh, the jack shaft. Just barely clearing the, the 5 8 bolt. Y'all y'all use the cross pro on, on cutting out the... Oh, yeah, the hangers. The hangers, thank you. Um, Can I try it? Sure. It's raining just in here. No, no, I was going to go out and try it. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going to be so yeah, excited he's going to ride it in the rain. Don't let her get away from you. That might be the face of disappointment. <laughs> look at him. Look at I thought y'all said it was different. It was different. It's just maybe not with you on it. I mean, you remember. It was well, faster than that, he, right? You know, he's all pouty. We built him a bike while he was on vacation. And look at him. Oh, no. It's the second time he's done this to us. <laughs> We're not going to build him any more bikes. <laughs> there might be a few people that are happy about that. Ah, it might be a little different. I feel like the enjoyment that you get out of that is like the same thing as like when your grandparents put quarters in that thing you rode. I like it. Look at that. On a third lap around, he went from, you said it was faster. To, it's I like a little it. better. I like it. Look at that, dude. That's called progress. It's like a sour patch, dude. <laughs> it's Power like... sweet and then gone. <laughs> Has anyone checked the top speed on it yet? Oh, yeah. 25, you want to check it again? Oh, you want to check it again? Sure. We're going to see with Ike's weight class what it does. I think he just wants to ride it. He's excited about his bike. Oh, he's cooking. That is a funny looking person. So if he, gets, if he goes faster than us, that means weight has nothing to do with it. Yeah. But That means he's just floating the non-valves down the hill. Man. Oh, man. 23.9. Ooh. What did y'all have? 25. I, I swear it was like 25 point something. I made the okay. joke about it. What's, what's better than 24? 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, y'all are lighter than me, yeah. and, and with two horsepower, that's going to make a heck oh, of yeah. a difference. I'm, yep. I'm 180 pounds. All right, we're all in the racing mood. We have a beautiful evening to rip uh, two horsepower around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Feel confident, Ike? Oh, absolutely. Who's going first? Uh, you know what? I think the, we're going to save the best for last. This guy. I'll go first. I don't care. All right. I'm going first, then Charles, then Ike. We're going to see who's fastest on the old two-stroke bird. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh man, that looked a little slow. All right, lots of brakes. I lost a lot of speed there. Didn't even need to touch the brakes. Oh, we are moving. 17, 18, 19, oh, God. 20, God. 21. Oh. Okay, we were both right. I mean, yeah, we were right there. Okay. Do you have a runaway? Uh, a little bit. Oh, okay. All right, there's still like lots on the table, but that's all right. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yep. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh my goodness. Almost tied the first turn. So my 
get estimate for Charles is a minute and 26 seconds. All right. I hear him hollering. I was scorching. It was sloppy like sloppy Joe's. But uh, Ike's gonna finish this up on this last lap. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Me too. That's a little bike for us to be trying to push. It is a very little bike. No suspension. And I mean, full tread and you feel it like slide. Yeah. Like it, it does. I do not feel good at all about this lap. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about that. No one. good feeling? No. All right, let's go see what we ran, boys. So we're back in the shop, ready to reveal each other's slow times, but they were fun. I enjoyed oh, yeah. uh, riding the bird night ho night hawk. Is that right? Yeah. It was so fast the cops are coming for us. Hide, well, I mean, boys. It's like you said, you'd rather ride a I, slow mini bike fast than a fast mini bike slow. Exactly. That's it, what it we was just fun. Did. That's it what we fun. did today. So uh, let's get to our times. I'm going to start off with John. John. Yep. Your time was a... Top five, top five, top five. <laughs> one. That's wishful thinking. <laughs> 21. Who? 29. Oh. So you're somewhere down here. Yeah, somewhere way down there. <laughs> Let me leave some room down there at the bottom for me. Yeah. So. Charles, what do you got, man? All right, I got Isaac's time. Bird, night, hawk. Please be faster. Uh, uh, one. Please be faster than John. Please be faster two, than John. Two. Five. Oh, oh man. God. Four seconds slower. I have Charles's. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Oh, boy. Charles, you did it in a one- one. Oh my gosh. Nine. Hey. Oh one. That was good. I finally one nineteen, won something, man. But I don't get on the board. Look at that. Yeah, you're not on the board. <laughs> finally won, but you're not on the board. It's not on the yeah. top. Yeah, that's 10. okay. Oof. Wow. Feels good. I needed that after this week. Man, you're six seconds faster than me. I mean, you saw it. how he was. It was all in that takeoff. Was that he was pedaling. hustling, dude. Yeah, he was hustling. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. It's it's okay. I'm not heartbroken. <laughs> It was only what two or three horsepower. Yeah, and and you know with the governor, it still got the governor. I could feel it. I lost the really? exhaust on my. Yeah. I lost the exhaust on my run. So freed up I some guess, more horsepower. Yeah, freed up the you, horsepower. Freedom. You freed <laughs> up the uh, <laughs> the ponies. That about wraps up the Bird Nighthawk two-stroke build. If you enjoyed it, leave us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more crazy mini bike and go kart builds. If you have any ideas for us. Let us know down in the comments. And if you want to help support uh, our channel, pick up some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching again, and we will catch you next time. Time to do some sketchy stuff. Do da, do da. I'm literally using a razor blade as <laughs> measuring tape. Yeah, time to do some sketchy stuff. Oh, the battery light's flashing. Oh, boy. Better make it quick, buddy.